Hello everyone, hello, hello, hello. welcome back to my channel. I don't know about Castle Love Rest Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, I would like to encourage you all to read your Bible every day and apply his words every day. There are lots of there are more than 300 promises that the Lord has for you. But you cannot or you will not gonna be able to know about it if you will not gonna open your Bible so there are lots of God's words here you can need to declare the words every day every day so that you will see the manifestation of Jesus Christ in your life but you need to open the love letter so if you want to know his promises where we at now we're in the last 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 days that is a great event that Jesus Christ is coming to take all his true followers, his genuine followers in heaven before he will pour the great judgment on earth for seven years. So you don't want to be part of that. You, want, you don't want to be left behind. You want to be taken in heaven in a safe place, right? So read your Bible and apply his words every day. So that's only an invitation, guys. But if you don't want to read your Bible, you just want to live a wicked life, you just want to go your way, you can do that to as well. But without Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. Not in purgatory, but in hell. Forever suffering there. Just to let you know, I'm not scaring you, but I'm telling you, I am just a servant of the Lord tell you what is going to happen next so yeah and then here these are the god the god's words that i've been so behind but i've been working on it i mean i will try my very best but i've been posting a lot of god's words for you all if you want to be ministered to but if you don't want to you don't have to read my post that's my god's words are not for everybody I mean, it's for everybody, but not everybody going to receive his words. So it's really up to you. So if you want to be ministered to, there are lots of posts that I've been posting only on my Facebook page. That is www.facebook.com slash Adonalby. And also I have two books that I have published back 2020, uh, 2021. That was the second edition, Warning of Dispute, second edition. And the, two, uh, the Warning of Dispute, first edition, I republish it final uh publishing it was 2012 first was 2011 but i re-edited it but anyway guys there are lots of teachings in the second edition in the first edition but the second edition there are lots of teachings out there so you might want to check out my page that is www.amazon.com slash author slash adrenal leverance i have a word for you guys that the holy spirit spoke to me this is God's word, letter B, letter B. The Holy Spirit spoke to me last June 7, 2023. The title of this message is Teach Your Children About God Jesus. So it took me to uh, several Bible verses. All right. <clears throat> First, it's in the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6, ESV, or English Standard Version. It says, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. The other one is in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4. ESV or English Standard Version, it says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the, discipl in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. All right, so he took me to Google, so I did a research about this. So the reference is in Google. So the question is, what does it mean to train up a child in the way he should go? Understanding Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, it's uh, Proverbs, again, understanding Proverbs 22, verse 6 in its original context, reveals that it is a warning not a promise it is a warning to parents that if they allow their children to have their own way they will not depart from that foolishness when they are older 
Then another question is, what does God say about raising a child? Okay, the bloggers say, children are a heritage from the Lord. Offspring, a reward from Him that is in the Psalm uh, 127 verse 3. Then it says also that it's helping children love and live for Jesus. <clears throat> then fathers do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. That is in the book of Ephesians. Again, that is in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4. It's diligently teaching the scriptures to your children. So that's... Uh, the, the the last word from the blogger, guys. So then here's the word that the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He just say, let's teach our children about God, Jesus, at an early age. In that way, any problems that they will deal with the, within their lives, they will ask God, Jesus, help first. Before asking for your help or other people's help. Or using drugs as an easy way out nor get advice from the wrong people, especially who hate the Lord. Start teaching them about the words of God. Otherwise, if you will refuse to teach them about the Lord Jesus, they may end up learning about the Lord Jesus in jail. That's the word, guys. If you have nursed Jesus Christ as your Lord, you're getting your Savior. Today's the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you. You may gonna die today or tomorrow without Jesus Christ. You will go to hell, not purgatory, but in hell. All you have to do is to repent. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord. You're getting your Savior and then promise Him to follow Him for the rest of your life. You can pray your own simple prayer. You can pray along with this simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray a simple prayer, or your own simple prayer, doesn't matter, according to the Bible, this one, your name is written in the book of life. But if you are still living in a wicked life, you are still re refusing Jesus Christ or rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, you're getting your Savior according to the Bible, not according to me. According to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, again, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found, written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, take this as a warning and an invitation. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.